My name is Marcus Armstrong, and this season I'm driving for Prema Theodore Racing and FIA Formula 3. Today I'm here to explain the most vital components of using the brakes properly in F3. In Formula 3 we have a huge amount of downforce, so when we're at the end of the straight, that's when the most load is on the car. It's best to hit the brake as hard as possible when you first hit the brake, and then eventually bleeding off as you come into the corner. You can't turn and be full brake at the same time, so you need to bleed off and then obviously turn into the corner. Obviously in the rain we have a lot less grip than in the dry, so firstly we can't attack the brake as hard as we want to. Usually it's a bit softer than the dry. We apply the brake and then obviously we have to deal with the, the tyres locking, so you can't really predict what it's going to do and that's sort of what makes driving in the rain so special. The brake balance is a tool we have in the car with us. We have a knob in the car that can differentiate how much brake we use in the front and how much brake we use in the rear. In the rain, for example, we go to a lot to the rear, basically because we have a lot less grip. In the dry and in hot conditions, we go as far forward as possible. During the race, we can change it quite a few times, and even in qualifying, we can change throughout the lap. My best advice for those watching, have Ralph Farron as a driver coach. Uh, uh, drive a Prema car. <laughs>